thick, thick fog. And a lot of sugar cane as always. Gotta have a careful drive this morning. Listening to some nice Cajun Zydeco music. Let's hope the fish like a day like today. I think they will. Foggy, foggy. Had to hustle across real quick. Man, these are the kind of days you like though. As long as you don't get hit by a boat. Let's catch some. There we go. There we go. Good little spot out here. That one gave me a second or two. Oh, Finding nice. fish in brand new locations. That's fun. There we go. Good one. And he was up high in the water. He was messing with that thing. Not quite a keeper. Alright, yet another one. Pretty sure it's a redfish. Man, this one took off. He wants to go out to the bay. Just caught a nice little trout. And so I was backtracking to kind of get back to the same spot, and this thing just tagged it. Ooh! And it's off. If that broke my line, it did. 10 pound test is too weak. There we go. Head shaking. Come on, get up here. Oh, look at that clean water. We got a little redfish. Wow. That's four redfish on the day. That is a beauty. There it is, if you miss them, you give it some slack, and then you let them have it the second time. Man, that was fortunate. The water was much clearer on this day. I don't usually see that out in Vermilion Bay, but it reminded me that I should have tried some different lures. I did try the whopper plopper up on top when I thought that the redfish were kind of surfacing and coming up, but I don't think that that was realistic. Anyhow, I was fishing right. some oh, deep water as well. Some of this was about 10 really to cool. 13 feet deep. So bottom jigging, um, I stuck with the 1 8 ounce jig head. I probably could have lightened or weighted that down a bit more, make it a little easier to get down, but it worked out fine. Next trip out, I'm for sure gonna use some twitch baits, some suspending twitch baits, mirror dines and other baits like that to see if I can't trigger some some uh, bigger trout maybe and oh, of course shaker. redfish as well which were active on this day as you can see Man, I'm it was sure a pretty cool day is. exploring some new areas uh, fishing anywhere from two to three feet deep uh, some shallow spots out there and then like I said some deep water fishing which was fun could be a big trout could be our first catfish of the day. Oh, it's a nice red. Mmm. Look at this beautiful water. This is the best I've ever seen this water out here. Come on. He's not ready yet. Come on. Man, whenever I feel a heavy pull on the line on the hook set, I wish for a big, big trout. But surely didn't mind hooking into some nice redfish on this day. Caught five of them out there, which was a special treat. The water was very, very clear. I think that helped. Don't usually see And as always, here. you run into some different types of nature alligator. on every trip. Don't usually see alligators out there, but I think that fresh water 
Maybe made it comfortable mm -hmm. enough for them. The salinity's down just a bit. This thing was right up on me. Cool sighting. Interesting. He is not afraid of me at all. It's a little concerning. He's going to get pissed off here in a second, though, because I am pushing it. Oh, definitely some fresh enough water for gators. Interesting. All right, let's find some more fish. It was an excellent day one. Five redfish, about 25 specks, and well over 30 white trout. Could have caught those things all day. But it was a nice to explore some different areas there around the Blue Point area and the northern part of the cove. So I was excited about day two even before this day finished and that'll be upcoming next. Day two. Didn't waste any time exploring some new areas. I headed south all the way down to the point of Sycamore. I was fishing some boathouses and piers. First time ever doing that. And along the way I noticed this tennis court. Someone has a beautiful tennis court down there. Really looks nice. If you're looking for a hitting partner or a tennis pro, I'm in. Oh, there you go. Good one. <laughs> this is cool. Dock fishing. Oh, he's just dragging it. That's back to back. Man, these are better trout down here too. No crowd. It was a falling tide, so it was a good little pedal down. It was easy to cruise along. And the water was probably about seven to eight feet deep in most of the areas I was fishing. Again, jigging, mostly on the bottom. Man, back to back. Ooh, on the retrieve. Oh, and it's a nice one. Good grief. One of my favorite things about speckled trout fishing is the action that these fish provide. They will do anything to try to shake that lure and they're very good at it. They get off quite frequently and you've got to be real quick with your hook set or they're spitting that lure before you even get a chance to lay into them. Quite fun the action. Fun to watch in slow video and slow pictures. Slightest little tick. Oh, deep fishing. Gotta love it. So I was pretty convinced that closer to the southern point down there, there'd be some birds working and give the fish away. That didn't happen for quite a while, but in the meantime, it was a good little bite. Just kind of had to move along. Did occasionally see some shrimp jumping on top of the water being chased by trout without any birds around. It was nice water again. And again, just kind of picking and choosing some different piers and boathouses and giving yourselves a good target to fish at. Lots of fun. Oh, nice one. Oh, look at him running. Cool. Well, most of the bites are at the bottom really cool. or on the Good drop. One. I had a couple that hit right on the way up as I was finishing my retrieve. Got to stay ready there. And then just when I had given up on birds, oh, right sure on. enough, a group of birds flew in right in between a few of the piers and I was able to get down there. This was about 5 p.m. and it went on for well over an hour just tearing up these trout uh, right at the boat man a big old flash came up Pop. oh yeah giving yourself away buddy way out there this one's pulling oh yeah this is fun fun stuff Get up. <clears throat> Better. Better. 
seen. I'm letting him go. Oh, another one. Good grief. They're coming to me. Yeah. Oh, came back and got it. It's about the most enjoyable way to trout fish. You just have to look and listen for the trout and the shrimp popping on top of the water. Cannot beat it. Oh, man, they're just tagging. Oh, shrimp everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That'll do. There we go. Birds, shrimp, and hook set. And it feels good. Oh, yeah. Come on, coming at me. Oh, you're getting bigger. I think I hooked him again. In the belly. There it is. Oh, head shaker. Oh, yeah. Just oh, way out there. Well, that one felt good. Oh, yeah. Oh, get up. Great retrieve, feel pressure, set hook. Mm. Decent one. Well, that certainly wasn't a bad setting to catch some fish, and it only got prettier as the evening progressed. Lucky to have the tide incoming now for the long pedal back. It just helped me cruise along. Here was a flounder I also caught at the bottom of one of those boathouses, almost 20 inches. Not a bad day at all. A lot of keepers and the Cajun Slam. Probably caught over 60 fish total. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you out there catching some as well soon. Take care.